Hey everyone, welcome back to Mortal Kombat 1 Online. Today in this video we are going to be taking a look at a former top tier of MK1, Mr. Baraka. Well, I might be lying when I say former. Uh, I think this character has basically been a little bit unfairly neglected by the community as of his most recent patch. Baraka was easily the most annoying and dominant character. He was everywhere online. I had like online sessions in season one before Nerf where literally like seven out of ten opponents were using Baraka Cyrax. This combo was easy to use, incredibly simple to execute and led to massive damage. Now, of course, since then, Baraka has had a little bit of a fall. First thing came with uh, the first major tournament of Mortal Kombat, where he actually didn't really get too many top placements. Uh, most people were using like other characters, and uh, I think most people playing Baraka Cyrax as a combo fell out pretty early. Of course, after that came the patch, and Baraka was pretty significantly nerfed in terms of his damage, and Cyrex was even more nerfed. I mean, Cyrex is basically dead in the water at this point. So I think that basically led to people really abandoning Baraka, mostly because most people were not really playing him out of sort of any loyalty to the character or any interest. They were really just tear whoring and looking to score some easy wins. However, in his current state, Baraka is still a fantastic character and plays Mortal Kombat 1 really, really well. Today we're going to take a look at him and of course take him online because I think actually this character now is really fun. The Really the main issue with Baraka before really was his damage and it's actually good that NRS realized this and really just addressed the damage issues he had in that he, dealt, he just dealt too much damage. Uh, but essentially, everything else this character does has been kept intact. So, what basically Baraka does is he... I would compare him mostly to Johnny Cage. He is sort of very much focused on being in your face, uh, doing quite significant combos out of overheads and lows, pressuring you, and then basically every single one of his combos takes you full screen into the corner. That really is Baraka's strength. The second strength Baraka has is, of course, pressure. I mean, this was the main sort of defining mechanic of this character. The chip damage this character puts out is on par to none, maybe with the exception of Raiden. So, yeah, pressure, chip, really being up close. This character is a fantastic, like, rushdown monster. You see on the screen I've tagged some of the most important moves he has. He has this, this is your basic sort of one-two punish. Uh, you can go into whatever. Uh, you have this move. Uh, this move is actually fantastic because I do believe, yeah, it's minus seven, so it's safe. But you have your low starter. Uh, of course, it can go into a full combo. A little bit hard to confirm, but uh, that doesn't really matter. He, of course, has this, his infamous overhead, which to this day, I'm fully convinced is just like straight up unreactable. Um, this move catches so many people, including your boy, uh, out because this and this looks so similar. This is the bell cry string. Uh, it's one of Baraka's best. Not only does it hit extremely quickly, mid to low, making it a fantastic armor break. I mean, everybody knows this move. Everybody has been hit by this move. Everybody knows how annoying it is for this character to essentially just completely negate most armor moves in the game. Uh, but that besides the point, this is also a meterless launcher uh, leading to fairly good damage and of course, as always, full corner carry. And finally, I tagged this move. This is like his sort of mash move. Uh, this is just a bit of a fun one. Uh, the most significant thing about it is that this is actually zero on block. Uh, but yeah, this is like, you know, something you can just like mash out and it can actually be special cancelled. Not sure you want to do that, but it's there's an option. In terms of special moves, there's not much that Baraka doesn't have. First of all, he has a projectile and believe me, this is actually not a bad projectile. Uh, it travels fairly quickly. You can do it quickly. Uh, you can throw it out. 
Of course, the thing is, the EX version is not a mid, so do be careful with that. He has this move, which is uh, fairly useless. This air, nobody uses this. His more significant air move is this. Um, listen, if you're facing characters like Omni Man, and they're constantly doing the sort of air float, this is a perfect counter. This is, of course, also one of your options to go into. Uh, out of your combos, but he has better combos than this. Uh, what else? Of course, this move, this is both used for pressure and uh, it is used as your uh, combo starter. The thing about this move is you can essentially go into it from anything. So anything except the actual meterless launcher, you can go into this move and you have essentially a full combo on your hand. Finally, this. This is a fantastic, fantastic wake up. It's super fast. It's almost like a sub zero slide. Uh, just look at, look at how fast it goes, and it covers a fair bit of distance. Of course, not as much as Reptile or Sub Zero does, but if your opponent is like, I don't know, putting down a Kung Lao low hat, just go in. And finally, this move. This is uh, mainly used as a combo ender off of certain things. Uh, I use it for this. Oops. Yeah, it deals fantastic damage. So, your game plan with Baraka really is to get in your opponent's face, do your overheads, do your lows, and sort of get big damage and big corner carry. Now, his pressure. Of course, Baraka used to have absolutely fantastic pressure with Cyrax because because now that NRS has actually implemented being able to switch cameos in the practice menu, I can completely show this to you. So this used to be, of course, the nightmare scenario uh, with Baraka. He would do this, call out Cyrax, and essentially he could just loop this infinitely. There was very little you could do. I mean, technically there were, if the Baraka messed up the timing, there were ways out of it, you could low poke, but if they had perfect timing, it was extremely difficult to counter, and any hit would lead into a full combo, and of course Baraka's damage was way higher than before. So, you know, this is all still in the game. I mean, the Cyrex Baraka combo to this day works. You can still do the same shenanigans, go into the uh, the throw, into the full combo, which, you know, I'm like terrible at all of this because I don't play, I don't main Baraka, but, you know, and then you can go into your this move, I mean, I mean this move. So it's all still in the game, it's just not as dominant as he used to be. So cameo of choice for me now is Kano, you probably saw, uh, because essentially with Kano you can basically do the same thing that you could with uh, the Cyrex cameo. It's a little bit less good because Kano's knives are a little bit easier to duck, but this is still a very, very good pressure string. And the other thing is you can do the Kano ball, which is also good. This is actually a mid, so the other option you can do is... is this, uh, and that that's basically like a checkmate. So I think Kano is the best cameo currently for Baraka, but he does work with a lot of stuff. You certainly could just take Sonya and use the air uh, sort of dash move just to get some extra damage because now it's time to talk a little bit about Baraka's weaknesses. And with his nerf, uh, it just bears mentioning that his damage is a lot lower than it used to be. So, you know, you're not getting, like, terrible damage. I'm not saying that you do, but a lot of the meterless stuff used to be, like, ridiculous. And now you're getting a little bit less. I would say, like, his damage is around, like, Johnny Cage level. So you're not going to be doing, like, the big 50% combos outside of the corner. Uh, but there, Baraka does really shine. The other problem this character has is that almost everything he does like his really good strings start off from highs. So we kind of explored this in the previous episode with Omni-Man that a lot of the characters that have very good strings which are highs are sort of weak to opponents that are really mash heavy and uppercut heavy. So you do have to be careful with that. And 
I think that's basically it. Like I said, I just don't understand why everybody dropped this character. He's super easy to use. He has super simple combos. He still does good damage. He still has good pressure, good movement, everything you want in a character for you to say that this character plays MK1 really well, Baraka has. And I still think he's, if not top tier, he's like a really strong A tier. Uh, like I said, again, it's just baffling that you don't see this character too much anymore. So yeah, let's go ahead and try to demonstrate how this character is still incredibly strong by taking him in online for a couple of games. Alright, so this guy has a Serena profile pick or combat card, which always makes me a little bit worried, but he's wired, which is... you just love to see. Oh man, I, for I forgot again. I did this in the same... <laughs> I did this in the Omni-Man video as well. I forgot that in this game... Your tagged moves... See? Your tagged moves stay on screen, which is... Really annoying. I'm gonna have to like, super quickly take this off between rounds. Okay, here we go. This is like rapid. Cool. God, there was a, I wish there was a way to turn off this feature. Nice. All right, fair enough. I tried it. Nice uppercut. What the hell? Oh, come on. I dropped it. That's minus seven, so it's not like super unsafe, but you do have to be careful. That was a fail armor. Fair enough, fair enough. I screwed up there. My mistake. Okay, fair enough. I do have to mention that you do, of course, as expected, Sacrifice the... Sacrifice the health by taking Kano. I didn't mention this. Uh, which is... Not always ideal, but, you know... Sometimes you just have to... And he's dead. Like I said, um, that was just like very basic Baraka gameplay, but you can kind of see what it does. He functions exactly like he did uh, pre-patch, just with a little bit less damage, more fair damage, because like <laughs> the damage this character dealt was just like absurd. Uh, there was no other way to say it. Right, that doesn't travel forward at all. And, as you can see... I'm like pushing him to the corner. Sometimes you don't even... You like don't even mind. And that's it. People do get scared of using armor when you're with this character. Oops. I did mention, or I didn't mention this, but Baraka also has a really good uppercut. Probably one of the best in the game. 
Like jade levels. And go for it. Overhead. And he's done. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, this is not the most difficult character to play. <laughs> and that's why he was really popular. Uh, he was just like a nightmare combo with Cyrax because it's just so easy. Like I said, Raiden. It's pretty much the same as the Raiden video. Um, I did the Raiden video, didn't I? Or did I end it up... Oh no, I deleted the Raiden video by accident. Did I just go on friendly rematch? No, I didn't. Okay. I did, but he didn't. But yeah, I had a Raiden video planned, which I accidentally deleted, but that was the same concept. We'll get to Raiden, don't worry. Okay, this is already going to be a nightmare. 123 milliseconds Wi-Fi. This this is going to be unplayable. Uh, I cannot believe the game allows you, or like doesn't allow you to decline a game like this. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy, but, you know, I'm almost used to it at this point. What the hell was that? I think this guy's allergic to blocking. Ouch! All right, my move straight up didn't come out. All right, fair enough. I was gonna do the slide as well, but the Baraka slide. Why did I jump on Sub Zero? That's like the stupidest thing you could do. Yeah, all right. I'm not gonna be able to um, pressure this guy. Jesus. What? What the hell was that? All right. All right. Fair enough. Oh my god, okay. Uh, 
He mashes quite a lot. Is he gonna wake up with clone? Okay. God, Serena is such an annoying cameo. I know she's not as strong as people thought initially, but man, is she a nightmare to deal with. Online, especially. I think she's like the, the smoke of cameos in that online she's like way stronger than normal. It's so easy just to like completely randomly go for the double knives and it just doesn't disappear. That's kind of crazy. Jesus, okay. Okay. Holy shit, man. This is... This is something else. Come on, slide. They always do it. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> this is painful to deal with. Oh no, it just didn't reach. Just barely. Is that death? It should be. Cool. Alright, 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 alright. Barely clutched that, that out. I'm gonna break that because I don't want to deal with that shit. It's okay, like, I'm managing it, but... Man, this is incredibly annoying. Yep. I kinda had a feeling. Oh, man, I was standing there. need to pull my shit together mainly because I don't want to fight this guy for th third game like really really don't so if I can like get this over with as quickly as possible uh, I'll be a happy camper and when he's making mistakes oh, I'm so happy I'm so happy right now Thank you for saving me an extra, like, 30 seconds. Uh, that was very much, very much appreciated. That was a horrible game. Uh, there's no other way to say it. Um, NRS, fix your fucking game. Just give me proper Wi-Fi and ranked filtering, please. Please. And that basically is going to wrap up our little adventure here with Baraka. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've always been a sucker for characters that are top tier in these games and then later on get nerfed and everybody drops them. Because I think it's always a fun challenge to go back and take a look at the character like, A, are they actually terrible or was everybody just tier whoring and now that the character is not like super 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 OP, everybody drops them? Or are they actually bad? In the case of Baraka, his option A, this character is not bad. He's not bad by a huge margin. In fact, I think everything that made Baraka strong previously, i.e. ease of use, good damage, corner carry, all of that pressure, it's still here. It's still absolutely here. Is he a little bit more use, uh, like, uh, not in, is he a little bit more challenging? Slightly. I mean, his combos are still easy, but the cameo you have to sort of mess with. I think generally just Cyrax was very strong. Uh, and of course, with the other cameos that allow him the same type of pressure, mainly Kano and Goro, you sort of do have to give up the HP, which in this game is significant. It just is. Uh, but other than that, he's a fantastic character still. And yeah, just check him out because yeah, he's 
not as bad as you think. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Mortal Kombat 1 online. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual. And yeah, I'll catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.